Hi everyone! In today's video, I am going to show you this media tool that I bought from Amazon. It is lightweight for travel, with a solid construction, which is versatile for either DSLR or mobile phone videos, which is good for travel, photo shoot, for events, for live streaming, or it could be for movies. And you can even use this for telescopes for stargazing. Presenting to you is the Victiv 72-inch camera tripod and monopod combined unit. Now here goes its included components. This is an extra quick release bait and there are two of them actually. Next is the wireless remote control used for a hand-free shot that could sense up to a distance of 10 feet as per description. And oh, the first release plate is actually already attached with this phone mount which I'm showing you now how it's detached. And that's the phone mount with a knob on the back of it where you can just twist it like that and showing you back now on how to reattach it you just have to align the screw holes of the phone clip with the screws of the quick release plate and tighten them with that cute little knob under the plate and there you have it Now, this tripod only weighs around 3 pounds or 1.5 kilograms, which makes it perfect for travel and very easy to move around with a strap carrying bag. And my favorite feature is that this tripod is efficient to set up as the parts are all with knobs. No need to screw. Now for the parts, we have the handlebar here and a strap if you want to hang it. Then we have a swivel handle where you can adjust your camera vertically tilting it up and down for easier change of angles another fab feature are the leg flip locks making it super easy and fast to set up next is this sponge grip which adds up to its high quality look now while on this side here is the horizontal rotation lock knob giving you a panorama panning for easy change of directions. And at this point, I will show you now how to put the plate on its spot. Since I don't have a DSLR camera, I will only be using my mobile, mobile phone usually so assuming that I place my phone in the mount we just have to fit the plate on its right spot there and by the way I'm sorry for those marks on my left hand as you can see it's just that I went out to shop for eyeliner pencil cohals a while ago and try them all on my hand to check out how smooth it glides so I forgot to wipe my hands after that I'm sorry so back to it, we just turn the mount in whichever presentation we like. And as you can see, they're all smooth. And I just tried to see there what that knob is for, but it was hard to turn, so I guess that's just nothing. Now I'll just show you how it smoothly glides. With no resistance or anything like that. So again, I will just show you how to secure the vertical and horizontal directions there with its smooth three-way swivel head. And right on this side is the eliminating leveling bubble. So this is just mainly like a guide if you want to have a good straight ground level or shot. Now on this side here is the center column lock knob, which now reveals the tripod's wonderful feature. And as we loosen that, we pull out, we convert this tripod into a monopod in just a few seconds. So unleashing that, you can now take selfies, still having those vertical and horizontal angles. 
so we can adapt two more shooting scenes this monopod actually um, this also has knobs on it for good sturdy stable grip so just making sure that it's secured tight right there this actually extends to a height of let me see now yeah so that extends to a maximum height of 57 inches or 145 centimeters so basically you can do a lot with this you can take group selfies you can maybe try reaching out a view that you can't reach that much if it's in a stream or if it's in a water side so you lift the monopod doing some techniques and tricks creating a cinematic effect on your videos so just make sure that you use both hands as well to provide a, a good grip We can also use this to extend more height in the tripod. So we just raise it up on the desired height. So just take note of this marker here where it, where it says stop here. Then use the knob to secure it. Once again, it's not complicated to use because every part is held up nicely with the knobs. At this moment, we will be flipping this nice locks, which I'm very happy about because when I searched for tripods in Amazon, some brands use screws in its tripod legs, which takes time to takes time to uh, set up, and you might lose the tiny screws as well. So I'm just showing you there now the rubber fit with um, with a good stability. On a wide variety range of surfaces so the the feet actually has like a ball and suck a thing there now we're just extending it all together And up next there that I'm showing you is the center brace locking circle. And the center brace allows legs to be spread simultaneously as well as uniformly providing much support. And this one here as you can see is a hook for the purpose of adding weight for the tripod to keep it more sturdy. Especially probably if you have a windy weather just like what we have here in Ireland where weather is mixed up in a day and is unpredictable so you can add in a bag there hang it as this tripod can actually hold up to a load capacity of 12 pounds or 5.5 kilograms so yep back to the center brace so we just pull it down like that and secure it by twisting it and that's perfect now this legs here they're all made up of anodized aluminum material and it's actually pretty good but as the legs extend they get thinner and I just hope that even if it's thin like this it could still withstand filming outdoors when it's windy but I really think that the legs wouldn't be an issue here say um, say if you're filming in a stable environment with a good weather outside or just filming indoors I think it's all grand like and I reckon that these legs are solid anyways now moving on if we extend this to its maximum with the monopod there extended and with me there just fixing the camera first trying to get a view on top of it so now that it is extended to its maximum we now have its height of 
71.5 inches or 181 centimeters and my actual height is 5'2 so this is its height versus my height as I stood beside it which I really hope that it might help you get a realistic thought about it. So yeah, cheers! I hope that's all of it. And for additional information, this tripod actually has a two-year warranty on it and there are other color options for this one as well. You can choose from black, blue, and orange. Personally, I chose black because I think that it would have a more classy vibe like this with some of its parts having a matte feel as well. So that's pretty elegant. So this is actually a great value for money, a good brand. And it's just around 40 pounds and the quality is nice I'd say by the looks of it and I will definitely use this for travel and for travel vlogs as this is very convenient and essential for those purposes and I'm pretty convinced that this is a good one though um, so I, I think I'll rate it 4.5 over 5 for now and I think it'll be 5 when I go out and try it anyways and it also had a good packaging as well when it arrived materials look pretty durable for me and they're gliding smoothly so as i pop this bag right there so i before i put this thing into my bag um well if you'd like to know it's folded length so this measures uh, 22 inches or 57 centimeters which can be easily put into your backpack without burdening your travel and before you put it back just don't forget to remove the plate f the plates first so it would perfectly fit on the bag and that's it Give it up for the Victive T72 tripod featured by yours truly. I hope this helped and if it did, I'm happy to have done so. Thanks a million. Happy shopping, keep safe and God bless.